Theresa May's hopes of securing a Brexit withdrawal agreement took a step forward after it emerged that ministers were working up proposals for a review mechanism for the Irish backstop. Officials at the Attorney General's office and the Brexit Department are now drawing up plans for a system by which the UK could end a temporary customs arrangement with the European Union without Northern Ireland being treated separately. Cabinet ministers have discussed the new proposal, which May's aides believe could meet the demands of Brexiters by removing the Northern Ireland-only backstop from the withdrawal agreement and replacing it with a UK-wide one. In a presentation to his colleagues on the backstop, Geoffrey Cox, the Attorney General, said the compromise on the Northern Ireland border was a major step in removing the final major sticking point in the Brexit negotiations, sources said. The Brexit supporting minister, who already has a powerful position within the cabinet and his minister's demand to know more on government legal advice, is emerging as an increasingly significant player in May's plan to get her cabinet on board. However, sources said there was immediate disagreement over whether the proposal would give the UK the power to unilaterally call time on the backstop, with both the Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, and the Foreign Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, arguing that it must. Leo Varadkar, the Irish Prime Minister, told May in a phone call on Monday that while he was open to the possibility of the independent mechanism, he could not allow the UK to dictate the terms of any backstop. Michel Barnier, the EU's chief negotiator, said a breakthrough on the Irish border issue was not close. For now, we are still negotiating and I am not, as I am speaking to you this morning, able to tell you that we are close to reaching an agreement, he told Belgian broadcaster RTBF on Tuesday. There is a still a real point of divergence on the way of guaranteeing peace in Ireland, that there are no borders in Ireland, while protecting the integrity of the single market. Other UK government sources indicated that the cabinet was close to agreeing the mechanism that could end a temporary customs arrangement with the EU. If you can find a solution on the mechanism then we're in a good place on the UK-wide backstop, one said. If negotiations broke down you wouldn't be stuck in the backstop forever. The Prime Minister told Cabinet that they would have another meeting before any agreement was settled, with number 10 insiders concerned a deal should be agreed by the end of this month if it is to be voted on before the UK leaves the EU. May said she would not agree a withdrawal, at any cost, and that it would depend on an acceptable framework for future relations in areas like trade and security, expected to be covered in a separate political declaration. May's official spokesman warned reporters, don't be under any illusion, there remains a significant amount of work to do. He added, she said that while 95% of the withdrawal agreement had been concluded, on the Northern Ireland backstop there are a number of issues that we still need to work through and these are the most difficult. This includes ensuring that, if the backstop is ever needed, it is not permanent and there's a mechanism to ensure that the UK could not be held in the arrangement indefinitely. The Prime Minister said she was confident of reaching a deal. She said that, while the UK should aim to secure a withdrawal agreement as soon as possible, this would not be done at any cost. The Prime Minister said that, once agreement was reached on a withdrawal agreement, it remains the case that nothing is agreed until everything is agreed and it will be subject to securing an acceptable full future framework.